All right, today, let's talk about tomato plants and a different way to trellis them than all of the typical ways that people may do. Right here, I'm standing in front of our long row of tomato plants, and a lot of people like using tomato cages. Tomato cages are something that you may be able to work, but certain varieties of tomatoes are gonna get too heavy for that cage. It's probably gonna collapse it. It really might end up being inconvenient. And here we have 25 tomato plants. So getting 25 tomato cages and trying to put them for each plant, it's gonna get very crowded. It's gonna make a huge mess. So we started looking to see what solution we can do for these tomato plants. So instead of using the tomato cages, we have here some twine, which if you search on Amazon, I search the words tomato twine, and this was the first option that pops up. I believe it was like $16 or something like that. I'll put it in the description below if you wanna look and see for yourselves. And we have some post. So twine and post, and I believe this is all we're gonna need to get our tomato plants trellised and we're gonna show you how we're gonna do it. First, we're just gonna put one post in front of each row. We only have two rows, so we'll put two on this side and two on the opposite side. So the idea behind this method is that you start low as you can with the twine, and you're gonna put it on one side of the tomato plant, go all the way around the row on that side, and then wrap your way back around to the other side of those tomato plants so that you have a twine each on both of the sides of the tomato plants and then that'll be one layer and then you'll move it up the next time when they get bigger and then move it up again the next time they get bigger. Keeping each twine still in place so that by the time they're really big you have about eight to 10 of these lines of twine holding up your tomato plants so they're not falling over. All right, so now as you can see our tomato plants, all the twine is in for what we need right now. We have two rows of it. We have one low, one just a little above it. So that's four pieces of twine holding up each tomato plant basically. And it looks great. Last year we tried doing like the post with tomato clips and we really didn't do it that well. Each tomato plant did not have support. So this is gonna be hopefully a lot better than last year, but I think it's gonna actually work out really well by the time all these tomato plants are fully grown in. So talking about plants that need support like those tomatoes, here's our cucumber plants here that are just starting now to rise a little bit. And we need to make sure that we have something for them to grow up on because they will go all over the place if you don't and they're gonna be looking for that and they will grasp onto anything they can so that we don't want them grasping onto our onion plants behind them here. So we need to put some kind of support system in front of them. And we also have one on the other side right here. So when we kind of made this plan, we thought about doing a little arch, but it's gonna be really hard to do the right size arch for the kind of wiring and stuff that we have. We have cattle panel here, which we're using right now to make this big arch that we have our peas on, which if you can look right here, we have our first sugar snap peas actually growing on there. An arch like that might be too much. So for right now, I'm gonna cut a cattle panel right down the middle and then just hold it up with some post up against them until we realize that maybe that's not gonna be enough. All right, so now when these cucumber plants start growing up, they'll have something to work their way up in. Looking at the size now, based on how many cucumbers our cucumber plants made last year, where it kind of went up a trellis about that size, this is probably gonna be cutting the size close. If our cucumber plants grow anything like they did last year, then I know this is not gonna be high enough, so when the time comes, I'll just add some height onto them by either zip tying more panels to them or some kind of wiring. We'll see, it might work out. It is crazy all the different things that you learn from gardening. I mean, last year was our very first year ever having a garden. So this is only gonna be our second season gardening ever. So this will only be our second harvest, all that stuff. 
and everything that we're already trying to learn from previous mistakes. Last year, like I said, our tomato plants, we didn't have the best system for them. We ended up probably losing about half the tomatoes that we actually could have harvested because we didn't take the best care of them. That's why we wanted to look into see what better system we could do for our tomatoes this year to make sure we get a full good harvest out of them. That's why when we started looking up sugar snap peas because our daughters absolutely love them, we had to see how they grew. I didn't know that they grew by growing up like this. So realizing that we needed a support system and an arch for these. Putting stands in like this for your cucumbers. And these are all things, like if you didn't do them, you'd still get a little bit of a harvest. But to maximize the amount of harvest you can get from each of these plants, if you look into the best possible way to grow these things, this is the kind of effort that it takes. And it's that research and also learning from previous mistakes that you need to figure out inside the garden. I really wanted just to explain our previous mistake with tomatoes and what other people might try to do and realize that maybe that's not the best system and there's many different other ways to try. This one, if this doesn't work for us or won't work for you, there's other ways to go about it. So don't just think that this is the only way either. There's plenty of ways to figure out how to put trellises on or arches on or any of the other ways. Please do not ever just see one thing and think that's the only way to do it. You guys have a great day and a better tomorrow and we'll see you guys in the next one.